Great. So thank you for joining us again. This is the Premier League review. My name is Shaban Mohamed. We are looking at Kumasa Santi Kotoko um, against Accra Lions. Kumasa Santi Kotoko versus Accra Lions. A very big game, a very difficult game, a difficult task for Accra Lions, especially after going four matches with just a win. Now, the last time Accra Lions recorded a victory was at home against in Swapchaman FC when they won by three goals to one. Blessing in Sumandangwa scored a brace for Accra Lions. But in four matches, Accra Lions match day one, they lost to Mediama Sporting Club. In match day two, they lost at home against Vision FC 2-0. In match day three, they went to um Karela. That is a uh, they they went to Nashariga, picked a point one one. Then in March day four it was when they recorded their first victory three one against Enswatchman FC, who just returned from their participation in the CAF Confederation Cup. So that was a plus for them. But Accra Lions are facing Kumasa and Tikotoko. And the reason why the task is a different one, difficult one, is that they are facing Kumasa and Tikotoko, who are currently unbeaten in the Premier League. Now, Kotoko is unbeaten. One in match day one, they beat Karela 1-0. So, when uh, Accra Lions went to pick 1-1 draw at Karela, Kotoko went to beat them 1-0. Return home, drew against Young Apostles 1-1. Then again, went through Brekum, picked 1-1 draw. Then in match day four, they also uh, picked another victory. So, in consecutive games, so Kotoko played one outstanding game against Insuachaman where they won by a goal to nil. So in four consecutive games, Kotoko have scored in each of the games. That is plus for them. Kotoko have scored in each of their four games played this season. While Accra Lion have managed to score in two, losing to Bidema 1-0, then losing to um, Vision S. But in their last two consecutive games, Accra Lions have managed to score goals. One scoring three, one scoring one. So making it four. So in games, consecutive games, it's difficult for Accra Lions to score. However, if you pick Kotoko, Kotoko are yet to score two more goals per game. So it's been one goal, one goal for Kumasa Santi Kotoko, one goal, one goal for Kumasa Santi Kotoko. But they are yet to score two goals in a single match, yet to score two goals in a single match, yet to score two goals in a single match. But it's been one goal, one goal for Kumasa Santi Kotoko. Now, for Accra Lions, they have also scored a total of four goals, but one in three games, then or uh, three uh, one game they recorded three goals, then the last one is scored. So this is something that would be um, some interesting area around it. But in terms of experience, I'll come to the fact and statistics. Apart from that, in terms of experience, Kotoko are on top. Goalkeeper Federic Asari has been in the Premier League since 2021 at Accra Lions. You go to the right back, Lord Amwa from Brooklyn Chelsea Premier League, left back Patrick Cedu Premier League. You go to the midfield, Che Dramina, and then Andrew Sinti in the Premier League, Emmanuel Entry in the Premier League, Baba Yaya in the Premier League, Peter made the Premier League debut last season, Peter Midu Aqua, then Abed Amwa uh, 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 has been in the Premier League. So it's 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 a Premier League side, a Premier League experience side. Against Accra Lions, who if you pick their back for goalkeeper could you say Bonsi, yes, from Wafa, Brigum, Chelsea, how to folk. Talk, talk about the right back. Remember, Duma Kumbuatin has been with the team. Left back, Baba Sali for Apega has been with the team. Ali Mohammed has been with the team. Musa Mzata joined the team last season. Then you talk about Blessing Isum and Dankwa at the wings. That is it. The midfield, the attack are young players, newly signed players who have never had the feel of the Premier League. That is where the experience of Kumasa Santi Kotoko will come to bear. Quality experience players that would torment the um, midfield of Accra Lions. That is without one, it's a plus. The only thing that will make the difference is that whenever the young players are playing against Hass and Kotoko, there's extra motivation to deliver. So the extra motivation of delivering on the field of play would be the major factor, the ish for Accra Lions. But in terms of experience, no way Kotoko would have the dominance. And you saw that against Young Apostles, even though Young Apostles were good side, Kotoko showed dominance class in the midfield. Now, aside that, we'll look at uh, the statistics of the game. Now, Accra Lions Kotoko has produced goals. It is a goals galore game. Goals galore game. 
goals galore game. It's been goals galore game. Now, Crown Lions made their debut in the 2021-2022 game season when Kotoko hosted them. Kotoko beat them 3-1. And then the 2022-23, that was their second season. Kotoko beat them 4-0. 4-0. 4-0. 4-0. Then the 2023-24 season, that was when Accra Lions showed dominance on the big teams. In 2023-24, when Accra Lions finished second place in that season's league, it wasn't a fluke because they beat us, they beat Kotoko for the first time. Because since their debut in the Premier League, they've never beaten Kotoko, even home and away, until that uh, second leg encounter, the Babayara Sports, they were blessed. Nesu Mandankwa scored brace. That one was the man of the match in that fixture. They lost, Kotoko lost by three goals to two. So let's do this analysis. In 2021-22, in their debut, the game recorded four goals with Kotoko winning 3-1. 2022-23, four goals again repeated with Kotoko winning all, winning or scoring all the goals. And then 2023-24, five goals were recorded with Accra Lions scoring three, Kotoko scoring two. What are your expectations ahead of the game? These are the facts and figures around the game. Now, when we go to the drawing board, clearly the strength of Kotoko will be the goalkeeping, but Frederick Asari will not be available because of national team. Okay, he'll be playing. Then after, he'll be joining the Black Stars. Team. So on Sunday, we'll see Frederick Asari. He won't be available for match day six because of national team assignment. Kotoko Black Stars will be playing next week Thursday. Then we'll move on to play on Monday again in Libya. So in back-to-back -back games, um, it will be difficult for Frederick Asari. That will, that's match the six. But this game, Asari will be imposed. And one of the fearsome signs of Kotoko is their midfield, where Emmanuel MP has been a key player in the midfield. Whenever you allow him to get the opportunity around your goal area, it becomes very difficult. Because we saw that against Young Apostles, where he shot from a long distance into the goal. And then one player, Pitamidu Aqua, who is very pacey, he operates from the flanks. He will see him around this area very dangerous player then aside peter amidu aqua you can talk about abet Amwa. he has the strength but of course the other opponents are getting to know him with the strength he's very physical but then if you allow him if you give him space one-on-one -on -one, he will beat you one-on-one -on -one. all the goals abet Amwa has scored is one-on-one -on -one. he will take advantage and beat you that is what will happen now but the strength of Accra Lions has been their back four blessing um baba sali for apiga and then Ali Mohammed and Musa Amzata. This is the back four. The strength of Accra Lions. That is where they are making impact. And that is why they went to Mediama to pick a point. Well, uh, they, they lost to Mediama, but it was just a slim margin 1 0. It's been difficult opponent beating them more. After losing to Vision 2 0 at Accra, um, it's been difficult. Apart from they having a lot of goalkeeping errors and all that. But uh, it's a big game, a tough game, a special game on Sunday at the Obwasi Linkley Sports. You can miss the action. It is Kotoko versus Accra Lions. Thank you.